Hey everybody, I'm JJ, watching Reality Survival, and today I am just out here making a couple of little corrections to my Porta Well. Now, if you guys watch the channel for any time, you know that I'm an affiliate with Porta Well. I think this is uh, this item fills a huge hole in the vast majority of people's prepping efforts. Um, most people underestimate the amount of water that they will have to have and that they will have to get on a reoccurring basis. And the porta well is an item that makes getting that water so much more easy and so much more enjoyable. Um, there, there's an affiliate link in the description below where you guys can check this out. But I want you to think about the idea that, you know, if you're, um, if you were in a situation where you had to get water on your own, for an extended period of time, you're going to need to be able to get about five to eight gallons per person per day in order to maintain the similar style of lifestyle that you have now as far as cooking and cleaning and sanitation and all that kind of stuff. And that's really, it's it's not going to be exactly the same. It's going to be a degraded amount, but I'm saying, you know, where you bathe somewhat regularly, you know, you wash your clothes somewhat regularly and all those kinds of things. Now, this is going to, this item is going to help you take groundwater from lakes or streams or ponds or, you know, wherever the case may be and run it through a series of filters. And that's what we've got four filters on this unit. Uh, this, now the, the original Porta Well comes with two, 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 um, filter units and then you can get an add-on unit which is these two which I've also done now I put these gauges on here those do not come on that okay I added those and I also created this little bracket right here that basically connects these two things together and that way I can just kind of move it all at once so what this thing is is it is a uh, self-priming a uh, 12 volt water pump similar to what you would find in an RV. Now you can get different upgraded pumps that flow at a higher rate, but this one flows pretty good already. It's like a gallon per minute, I think. And one of these little batteries will pump um what did I what did we figure out? It was Was it 55 gallon drum? No, 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 it was more than that. It was 250 gallons. I think it was 250. Go back and watch the video that I did on it. I've got a whole video where I talked about that. Um, but they, they, it pumps a lot. My point is, is that one of these batteries, without having to be recharged, uh, will, will pump a lot, of, um, a lot of water. And, you know, obviously they're rechargeable, so you can use them over and over again. Batteries don't come with it. Um, I also added this pre-screen because I think this is a better system. It's two sets of, of screens. So that is going to, um, you know, make the filters last longer. Now I just ordered some more filters, uh, for mine. And what I'm going to do is the first stage will be a yarn filter. That's like a five micron sediment filter. The second phase will be a pleated five micron, um, sediment filter. The third phase will be a carbon wrapped filter. So, uh, and, and, and those are one micron. And then the final stage is the ceramic Dalton stereosil, uh, Imperial stereosil, um, filter. And so that is going to be the one that, you know, filters out most of the bacteria, pathogens, and, you know, all that jazz. Now it's probably a good idea because this is just a filter system to go ahead and add some bleach to the filtered water after you do so. And you just need a couple of, um, what is it, eight drops per gallon, I think. So you don't need a whole lot, but um, that that's gonna give you a really good system that's gonna allow you to get a lot of water quickly. Um, it'll fill this five gallon bucket in about five minutes, you know? And um, that is way, way better, four times faster, as a matter of fact, than sitting there with like, you know, a leading um, backpacking 
uh, camping filter like a like a Kaden Hiker or a Kaden Pro or a Pocket or something along those lines, and trying to you know you you get basically get about a liter per minute out of those uh, filters. So when you have to go and get water every day all the time, and, you know, and it, it's going to be that w- getting water in a long term situation survival situation will be the thing that you spend most of your time on unless you have figured out some sort of a really good rain collection system and you live in an area with a lot of rain. For for most of us, you're going to have to figure out how to get your water. Now, obviously if you're a, you know, advanced prepper and you've got solar panels and a and a solar, you know, a well and all that kind of stuff, then then that's this isn't necessarily applying to, you, but this is applying to 90% of, you know, most of the preppers out there that really haven't figured out what they're going to do with their water in a long-term situation. This is an excellent uh thing to do. I do recommend adding the um adding the filters and you want to add them. I had it I had it wrong on my my previous video where I showed the update. You want the I said you, you want to add the, the gauges, not the filters. You want to add the gauges before the filters. Okay, so so this gauge will show basically the status of these two filters, and then this gauge will show the status of these two filters. And so as you know, if it starts to the pressure starts to get too high and the water can't flow through there, then you can uh, know that there's a problem. And also the gauges actually give you a way to kind of monitor the, the condition of the battery as well. As the pressure starts to fall, the battery is actually draining as well. So it kind of works as a, in, a, in a dual uh, a dual way and, and, and it's pretty handy. And you can get the pick those up off of Amazon. I mean they're nothing, you know, nothing too special. Uh, same thing goes with these batteries. These are just uh, Wise, uh, what are they, TL1209 9-amp hour batteries, you know. Uh, you could use any 12-volt battery. You could use a car battery. You could use the battery off of your ATV, and you could run, you know, a little <clears throat> uh, pigtail from your, you know, something like this from your uh, ATV battery and and just hook it right into the power of this unit here because see it, it has a uh, plug just like this as well so you know there's there's lots of different ways you could use this but uh, i think that that this is a really really good solution for being able to gather a lot of water now it's also a good solution for glamping and you know a bug out load out if you were going to you know load your your truck or car with with stuff and 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 try to leave to go to your bug out property um this is a fairly big case, but this is the case that I came up with for uh, for storing. And I just used a series of pieces of styrofoam, and I wrapped them in in moving saran wrap. <laughs> and it's the Dewalt Dewalt Tough System 2.0, 24 uh, inch large box. It was pretty expensive. It was 119 dollars, but uh, through the move, moving from um, these are just some little blocks that I made just to make everything fit right. Uh, but moving from Indiana to New Hampshire, you know, that thing did fine and it kept it all protected and it's got, you know, let me see if I can, it's got a little handle, you know, where you can raise up and kind of carry it around and whatnot. So it's not something that's going to be in a bug out backpack, but you could use it in a bug out loadout. Kind of situation if you had a vehicle and a trailer or an rv or you know something like that travel trailer or whatever that you were going to take um but it's a it's a pretty cool pretty cool little system um you can check out the affiliate link in the description below if you want you know you can also probably build these i've thought about building one with a little higher pressure motor um i'm going to end up spending about the same as what it costs to buy one to do that um but you know, if you're a handy kind of person, this isn't it isn't extremely difficult, you know, to figure out what they've done. I mean, you basically got a pump and a switch and a power uh, inlet, and then you know an L-shaped bracket, and then you know just the parts and pieces that you need to plumb these things together. This is all silicone. I've upgraded the hose to silicone um, food grade based 
hose so it doesn't the silicone hose doesn't kink as easily as the pvc vinyl i think i also updated the um the elbows in here as well to brass fittings instead of uh plastic fittings just for a little bit more robustness you know not necessary totally but it just something that that i wanted to do but anyway um this is a really cool system and i think that if you if you don't have it figured out how you're going to transport you know say i don't know for a family of four 20 gallons of water a day you know what are you going to do now some people will say oh you only need one gallon of, of water a day per person you know to survive um that is barely survival that is um not considering you know, sanitation for your body, sanitation for your clothing, um, you know, cooking and you're doing your dishes and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't cover. That's just that's just what you should be in, intaking into your into your body. And then some very, very minimal face washing and teeth brushing and stuff like that. Like that that isn't that isn't considering living well. That's considering, you know, your <laughs> like getting by just just barely eking out an existence. So you want to do better than that. You want to plan for better than that. You want to be able to take care of people around you and take care of, you know, your neighbors and your friends and your family and all those kinds of things. That's, that's what God calls us to be able to do, I think, is, is to be there for people uh, who need us, you know, in a time of need. And so I think this is a, is a great option. Maybe you guys have better options. Maybe there's other options out there on the market that I haven't seen. That is entirely possible. But this is the best one that I've seen. So um, just wanted to make you guys aware of it. Again, for the subscribers who've seen the channel, I was mostly just showing you that I, I fixed the, I got the, the pressure gauge in the right spot now. Um, but the, for those of you who are newer to the channel, we've had a lot of new uh, subscribers and stuff like that. And so I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you the portal well because I think it's a really, really good system that makes a lot of sense for... Um, for a lot of situations, even if you have a bug out property, um, you know, where you've got a cabin or something like that, this is a great addition to that. So anyway, just wanted to show you that and you will find the affiliate link in the description below. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to work a discount code yet. I've been trying, I've been working with them, but they're a small company made here in the USA and they're, they're a startup and they just don't have a huge, you know, margin in their products yet. So, uh, maybe one of these days we'll get that worked out. But, uh, for right now, it's just, um, the affiliate link in the description below. So anyway, guys, hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care and we'll see you on another video here shortly. Don't forget to live the six P's proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.